Should you be loyal to your partner? And if so, what does that loyalty look like in your relationship? And what are its bounds? Most people, when they look at loyalty, they imagine an unquestioned alliance with the person to their own detriment. Of course, you imagine there are a lot of things that are not good with that and not sound. But what are the boundaries that you have with your loyalty? I'm going to explain that to you on this video. When you look at the definition of loyalty, it's sort of two parts. First part is a strong feeling of support. Second part, or allegiance with somebody. If your definition of loyalty, loyalty is good or bad def depending on your definition of it. If you define loyalty as a strong feeling of support, this is wonderful. And this is actually essential in your relationship. Since it is axiomatic for unconditional love that you are supportive of the person whom you admire and adore and cherish and love. Your wanting for your beloved's happiness intrinsically to your happiness involves your tremendous support for them reaching their actualization, their well-being, satisfaction, and fulfillment. Hopefully, a lot of it has to do with you, but a lot of it also will not have anything to do with you, and you have to be supportive of that. It's axiomatic for unconditional love. Now, if your definition of loyalty has to do with allegiance with them, allegiance came from the word liege, and a liege man in the 1400s was someone who had a reciprocal relationship with their lord where they provided a service and in exchange the lord would protect him for it. It was a reciprocal relationship. If you define loyalty as unquestioned allegiance with somebody, unquestioned allegiance, alliance with somebody, then that's something you have to explore further because up to what point is your allegiance? Is it to the detriment of your own? The detriment of your personal development? The detriment of you? So the way I approach loyalty in relationships is this. You must become loyal to yourself foremost. Because that is the only way that I will know that anything you do with me, anything you do for me, is significant or meaningful. Because if you are loyal to me, unquestioned, how do I know that anything you do with me is meaningful or significant? If you are only doing things with me, for me, it's because your loyalty to me or it's because of the titles you are entitled, such as you do, th for example, a lot of people entitle themselves with the title boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband, wife, or partner, or primary partner, whatever the case is. If you do anything with me because of the obligation that you feel, you're obliged to do things with me, for example, because of merely titles, then how do I know that what you're doing with me is meaningful or significant? If anything you do in your relationship is from obligation, then that is outside of the meaning meriting your relationship, the relationship meriting its own existence. Some people, they have some obligations that they feel they have with their friends or their, their best friends. But for the most part, those obligations don't really exist. They do things in their relationships with their friends or with their um, best friends because they really, really like that person. They love that person. They do things they are in that relationship because that relationship merits its existence. In other words, the relationship deserves to exist. 
They want to be there. They want to inter interact and interface with them. And both of them feel that way, which is why that relationship exists. It exists because it merits its existence. Now, when you go into relationships where you are entitled, literally entitled, you're given a title in which entitles you to certain reciprocate, reciprocate, reciprocative relationship, certain things where you have to act <clears throat> in the relationship and you have to do in the relationship. In other words, your obligation, you have obligations in that relationship because of the title that you have. You are now obligated in that relationship. You now have an allegiance with them, a reciprocal relationship in which there's a quid pro quo. I do this and you, I expect you to do this and I expect you to do this and I will do this in return. It is a service-oriented relationship. No longer is it the relationship merited. No longer does the relationship begin to merit existence. It's now based on obligation. And that is the death of your relationship. Because now you are, you imagine it began, you have the relationship because you love the person. But once you replace, once you begin reciprocating, once you begin um, being loyal to them without question, once you begin having obligations in that relationship, you will resent them. And they will resent you. Because there is no freedom in obligation. There is an opposite to obligation. Rather, it's not an opposite, but an alternative to obligation. And this is something you can put into place in your relationship. Rather than have obligations, have commitments. Here's a powerful delineation and distinction between the two. An obligation is something you have to do whether you like it or not. A commitment is something you commit to doing because you want the fruits of that commitment. And you can alter that commitment anytime you'd like. And this facilitates the freedom and independence of the individual. And we as individual humans are naturally free. So remain loyal to yourself. I ask for anyone who interfaces with me that they remain loyal to themselves foremost. That the only reason they do anything with me is because they want to and like to do them with me. And that's the only way I know that you're doing anything with me is meaningful to me. Hopefully like this, share this video with other people. You're helping make the world a better place for all of us. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.